typically, if you assume responsibility for doing something, you have to assume responsibility for doing it. Very soon, my kids. Phil, what are you doing here? I'm setting up the novice tech station this year at Field Day. Right. And what are you going to operate? Uh, we're going to operate all bands, uh, 80 through 10, on CW, and I think we're going to have a separate rig for a phone. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Cheating. Go ahead, give me your line. Give me your tires, your four, your huddled masses. Yearning, yearning to breathe free. Yearning to breathe free and join the RARS field day site. Possibly severe, but doubtful. Uh, and that's, that's a concern, not a conservative estimate. That's probably saying we're not going to have any. the most? Yeah. I'm going to go right in between those. Stand behind you. Hey Dougie, what are you setting up? 
I'm uh, trying to get power for our, let's see, we're going to do 80 meter, 15 and 20. A uh, couple on voice, uh, sideband, one on uh, CW. We're going to do them all this year. So now I'm trying to get some power. That hooked up up there. Again, hot. Hot? Yeah, get hot. Power. What are we doing here? Uh, we, well, we were setting up our 40 meter CW station and uh, old Nimble Fingers uh, KD4 PCD is going to try to uh, apply what he just learned uh, in the last RARS class with, uh, with CW, the dits and daws. And uh, we're going to have to have Chuck and he's going to be cranking it out too. So we're looking forward to it and had a big time. What are you doing here, Jeff? Well, we're testing out this new piece of equipment uh, right here. As you can see... What was that question you just asked about it? The question was how to tell which band it's going to transmit on when I mess the, the PTT button. And you can see right in the corner it says VHF on that side. There's a UHF icon on this side, but it's the VHF one that's lit up, so that's the one it's going to key up on. If I mess this button here, you can see the UHF side light up, so 440. But I've never been hurt on 440, so I won't do that. <laughs> no wonder you're an extra. <laughs> KA3PSK, AC4ZF. I hear the problem. You're on simplex. I'm almost in here. Let me let you go. Hopefully we'll see That's you a little right. later. I think your signal dropped out a little okay, bit. I got somebody calling me on simplex. Okay, hello. And uh, good luck. I hope you get the license soon. KA2FWC. All right, I'll see you. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Let's see. Okay. Here it is. AC4ZO coming to you live from field day with Gary. Do something profound, Gary. Oh, uh, let's see. Hi, Mom. I, uh, I, don't, I don't know what to do on this side of the camera. I'm supposed to be on that side of the camera. You're supposed to be on this side of the camera. Okay, then introduce us to Cameron. The helper and Cameron program is Handy Talkie. Cameron's a brand new ham. You saw him just a moment ago trying to talk to Frank. With all the echo in the background, things got a little bit confusing. He's uh, passed his test at Durham. He's got this brand new Olenco Handy Talkie, and he's saying, what's a repeater offset? How's this stuff all work? So I'm programming it up. Is that little red light on? Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't see it from here. So I guess, I guess we're on. Cameron, you're on TV. Say hi to everybody. Hi, Rars. Hey, Rars. How you doing? He's going to join, right, Jeff? Uh, yeah, yeah well, that's I right. Told that's right. We already got all the members we need, so never mind. No more members. We're full. That's why you oh, look, look after PR. Going up. Turn around, get this antenna. It's going up. Hurry up. All the band captains have one book for for their for each transmitter, correct? Have my notebook. Four. Down. Two meter sideband CW, six meter sideband CW, two meter slash 70 centimeter FM, and this is for backing. I have a question. Two meter CW and two oh, meter data. Uh, is data considered CW? Yeah, something like that. Thanks, man. <laughs> I love you. We're in 9 Alpha. 9 Alpha, North Carolina. Write it down. Need a pen? I got it. Hey, so don't worry about it. it won't help us get points. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 9 Alpha. Vehicles on the field. 
only vehicles to be on the field over here are being kept in the Problems on anybody. Reach band ABC. Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Let's go. Pizza or ice cream? I'm thinking more of a line of a tent with the sky behind it. Okay. I'm sure Gary can. Okay. Oh, it's looking good. This is the 10 meter CW position, and this is the 10 meter phone position. How's the band? Oh, I guess it's uh, fairly quiet. We've worked some Wisconsin's. We've heard of Kansas, but uh, haven't been able to get them. What band are you operating here? Somebody, what band are you operating here? <laughs> 10 meter fan. How's it going? Uh, it's going okay. okay, we're trying to get a, uh, a station in uh, Kansas. W40W. Whiskey 4 Delta Whiskey. Kilowatt X for a nine Oscar. This is Whiskey Four Delta Whiskey. Whiskey Four Delta Whiskey. QSL. We are nine Alpha North Carolina. Nine Alpha North Carolina. QSL. It's 80 meters. It's the middle of the day. What's the story? Uh, we started off with like gangbusters at 2 o'clock. It was all local people, the local North Carolina, Virginia stations. And it lasted about an hour and uh, now it's awful quiet. So hopefully in another couple hours it starts getting dark. It'll pick up and we'll go hot and heavy all night. And we aim to be here all night. Yeah, for the most part, uh, these are uh, all fairly close. They had uh, real good, strong signals. As a matter of fact, you can see N4IQA, who's uh, about 100 yards over through the woods here. Uh, Pete, KN4OO called us. Uh, a couple other folks, but uh, Benson, the Benson group called. Uh, three or four other local uh, amateur clubs have called. So that's really what the first uh, 
like I said, about the first hour, that's what it was. So right now it's slowing down, or it's slow, but like I said, it'll pick up later. So no problem uh, hanging there. 80 meters is a great band. In fact, we'll probably be doing some CW tonight as well on uh, 80 meters, as well as uh, phone. It'll, it'll be going all night. We'll come back later. Okay, very good. Uh, see you later, and, and we'll just tear you up with the activity in here. There'll be so many people flocking to this transmitter that it'll just be mind-boggling. Hey, hey, I'm, ru I'm running out of tape. <laughs> okay. X-ray Zulo, W4DW, 9 Alpha, North Carolina. KB zero ILA from W four DW. W4DW, W4 Delta Whiskey. Oh, North Carolina, North Carolina, 9 Alpha. 9 Alpha, QSL? Uh, North Carolina, uh, uh, Good luck in the contest, thank you. Get all that. Yep, we got them. November 9, question mark, W4DW. Well, uh, I guess uh, first off, Gary, uh, why is it important that uh, radio operators come out here once a year and make contact with all these people? And well, we come out to field day uh, every year to exercise our emergency capability. We operate off of generators or battery power or off of uh, sometimes even solar power. We operate as if everything had been shut down in the immediate area. All of the main power lines, telephone communications, food, everything was gone. We set up so that we can operate totally self-contained for an entire week. No, no, no. He, tried, he tried to pick them up six feet high before he grabbed the keys. Back up, back up. Give him food. Yeah. He's got the keys! Yeah. Yeah. He got the keys out! Hey. Woo! Put it in. Put that in. Oh, all right. Yeah. Go over. Your antenna will be receiving shitty signals <laughs> for the next six feet. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Caught it on video. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be true, we gotta get it. Ah, let me get this out. Okay, where are the keys at? Doctor, it's bad. You're gonna talk to somebody and, uh... White Plains, New York. Everything in the radio repair business. He taught me an appreciation for old equipment. He didn't see it as a piece of mechanical gear that just wore out, but he saw it as an embodiment of somebody's ingenuity and the other people who spent many an hour working to build that. He fell upon me to take his interest in art when he was three years I was decided to let some of the older gear so that the people who are young now can... How do you handle a hungry ham? Very carefully.
uh, QSL and good luck in the contest. <laughs> How's it going so far? No comment. Can't prove it. Nobody saw me do anything. Uh, no, it's going pretty good. Um, it looks like we've got about 50 people here. Uh, we're a nine alpha this year, which is uh, better than uh, not better or worse. But, uh, Everything's going together pretty well. I'm kind of surprised to, to give these people the freedom to, to kind of set up in a field, say, here's a field, go at it, and they kind of do it. And, uh, I'm impressed. Are you happy? Oh, well, I'm ecstatic, because I'm not having anybody breathing down my neck saying, hey, why is this done? I'm not supposed to do it. It's great. Oh, happy. What did you say you were doing here? I said, I'm taking a test drive. What do you think? <laughs> now, Brian, how's VHF doing in the middle of the night? Well, sudden uh, burst of activity. We got a contact again after an hour and 27 minutes. Day. Where was that? Field day. This one was uh, field in for BNO. Uh, I think he's located in Wilson, North Carolina. Not bad. Well, how are things going here at Novice Tech in the middle of the night? Oh, pretty well, actually. I made my first HF contacts tonight. I thought you were going to show me your log here. Yeah, I'm trying to find out. my log. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my log. Are there any, uh, any novices actually operating uh, Novice Tech, or is it everybody a tech? So far, everyone's been a tech. So it's basically the tech tech station. Basically, but hopefully we'll get some novices out here. I'm not sure we have any in the club to go searching. <laughs> Where are the novices? I don't know. Maybe they ran away. Okay. Well, good luck. <laughs> Thank you. What is this strange mode you're operating? CW, uh, Morse code. And how's it going? Well, it's uh, it's starting to go a little bit better. I'm new at it, and uh, it's a little bit frustrating to start with, but uh, it's going going much better as you get used to it. Finding a lot of pileups and things like that. Absolutely. I hear someone uh, come on the air with a uh, CQ. And before I can answer, four other people are simultaneously trying to answer. Do you win? So I'm it? kind of waiting my turn here. Do you win any of them? Pardon? Do you come in first on any of them? Sometimes. Good luck. Thank you. No. <laughs> no, I think we should scan through here. Nine alpha. Let's see. Good. Uh, what'd you leave this typewriter out in the rain or something? Why? It's shrunk. <laughs> or, or, or. 
It hasn't no, rained he yet. Won't stand we need up. to add water. Michael won't stand up long enough for me to run the other cable so we can plug the battery charger but back I, in. If I stand up, I'm You've already miss missed it. it. You've already missed it. I you have said not. that. You said you did. I did not. Look, look. So the thing that here on packet that you just kinda of point and click. <laughs> You're getting too much enjoyment out it's of this. It's the plumpy packet crew. <laughs> What do you want me to say? Whatever you were just about to say. I was just about to say, give me just a minute, we'll get down where the blistering guys are. We just came up to the novice part of the band to see what was happening up there. I thought that was your code speak. <laughs> it is when I'm in this part of the band. Now wait a minute, Jeff. This time last year, did you even know Morse code? <laughs> no, I said I didn't. <laughs> it's new to me, but I love it. This is your first field day, right? It's first field day. And you went from zip to extra between last field day and Tell me about it. Well, uh, it's one of the I heard Morse code when I was a kid. I never paid much attention. And the fellas at work got me on the ham band wagon. And I decided Morse code was the way to go. Because I'm shy. <laughs> so Morse code didn't yeah, have Yeah, you sound trouble. Mike shy on 6'4". <laughs> I don't get down there very much. W is the place to be. And what about field day? What do you think? Field day is great. I've just had a blast. And it seems like the later it gets at night, the easier it is to find a seat in the CW chair. Nice nose, Bill. <laughs> well, I was a little zoomed in here. <laughs> it's a fat tradition. You guys uh, content to sit back and let Jeff there blaze on CW, the brand new kid? Oh, definitely, really. The, the Code mean, Brothers here? The well, Code Brothers are a little bit rusty these days. I'm just trying to listen and copy, or just trying to copy it, but it's a little bit beyond my speed. So we'll let Jeff handle the fast stuff, and we'll handle the sideband. Well, what was that, right. Jeff? I'm just about getting ready to throw Jeff off of this radio and put him over here on 20 meters and do the fast stuff and I'll go back on uh, 80 meter sideband and uh, Bill's going to take a break. So 15 meter died, so uh, that's the end of Bill for tonight, it looks like. There it is, the air conditioning station. Whiskey 4, Delta Whiskey, Whiskey 4, Delta Whiskey, QRZ. Charlie Papa Tango, this is Whiskey 4, Delta Whiskey, go. Uh, 2 Alpha Quebec, report here, Niner Alpha, North Carolina, QSL. QSL, just contact. I need your call, I need your call. Victor Echo 2, Charlie Papa Tango, Victor Echo 2, Charlie Papa Tango, QSL. Uh, QSL VE2, Charlie Papa Tango, good luck in the contest. Whiskey, Delta Whiskey, QRZ. Up about five. There we go.
What's it like, um, a busy contest like Field Day on, a, on equipment designed for what, World War II? World War II bomber aircraft. Uh, it's a bit hectic. It's a five-handed tuning operation. You try to tune the transmitter and match the receiver, and then you try and zero on somebody, then you have to off the, offset the receiver and try and get him. And it's a continuous two-handed, three-handed operation trying to get it tuned up. But it's a lot of fun. And it's the kind of thing that you don't often see anymore, so we thought we'd bring it out for Field Day and see what it would play. Hard to compete with a radio with the tracking VFO and RIT and lots of filters? Oh yes, very hard to compete with that. Normally if we could hear somebody and we get zeroed on him correctly, we can work him. But if we're just off a little bit from where his filters are, we miss him and he doesn't hear us. And you're hearing everything. You got a barn door receiver? Oh yeah, we, we got a receiver that's probably 4 KCs wide, so anything that's within that 4 KC window, we hear regardless. So where do you do your filtering? In the brain, between the ears. <laughs> the old-fashioned way. What's the uh, what's the best part of field day? Contact. We'll find out in a minute here. <laughs> Might be the food. And he and the cook says contacts. What does DX that tell you? Contact. DX contacts. I've had one yet, so I wouldn't know. Now wait a minute. You're the cook, and you're saying breakfast isn't the best part. You know something about this we don't know? Yes. Yeah, I get breakfast every morning. Looks pretty good. What? Just in case it explodes? <laughs> Jurassic Park. Yeah, I got five gallons down at the other. Yeah, regular gas gas. Oh, hey. This looks like my gallon of chain oil. Whiskey. Whiskey for Delta Whiskey. Good. 
Please copy. Three Alpha. Three Alpha. Western PA. QSL. Roger. Three Alpha. Western PA. Please copy. Nine Alpha. North Carolina. Nine Alpha. North Carolina. I hope your power holds out a couple more hours. Nice job down there this morning. Good signal up here. W-O-3-T, you are Jeff is horizontally polarized. Can I do something profound? I get up? Mm, stay right there, you look real comfortable. CQ Field Day, CQ Field Day, CQ Field Day. Whiskey 4 Delta Whiskey, W-4-D-W. Man, 100 down here. Doug, who's, who's, uh, who's operating guy this is here? <laughs> whiskey 4 Delta Whiskey, Whiskey 4 Delta Whiskey. Tango Foxtrot Zulu, 2 Alpha in Virginia. Uh, Roger, the 2 Alpha in Virginia. You are 9 Alpha, that's 9 or Alpha in North Carolina, QSL. QSL, thank you for the contact. This is 2 Alpha 4, Tango Foxtrot Zulu. Hey, uh, you told me 80 meter was dead. Doug, I believe you're going to explain this thing here on your, on your power supply? This little thing right here? Yeah, that's that's for when what this operates. is, I made this thing up. Excuse me, what was that, Jeff? I said that's for when Bill's operating. <laughs> See, there, there goes Bill. Get me again. You're going to move the microphone. This is for, as folks get older, they have, have a tendency to have memory lapses. You know, when you're screaming along here at 30, mile, or 30 words a minute like I normally do, you know, you forget an M once in a while, you forget an A once in a while. There it is right there in front of me. So you see my key is right here below it, and I just do my thing. And just don't lose a stroke, you know. That's why it's there, Gary. And I'm sorry you asked, now that you mentioned it. Okay, go ahead and cover it up again. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, look at him now. He's, here, do this. W4DW, Whiskey 4, Delta Whiskey. There we go. Okay, I'm almost up at the top. Taking ham radio to new heights. It's been a rough climb. Somebody had to do it. Uh, okay, there's a little more than I thought. So Gary, yeah. has the antenna been struck by lightning? Sometime in its life, but apparently not last night. Okay. <laughs> so uh, you found what? Oh, you found an empty band? <laughs> well, there was a band that nobody had used yet because nobody had signed up for it. And uh, what was it, that? It was it was 15 meter CW. And when did you start working it? Uh, about three hours before the end of the contest. And, and what was that like? Uh, well, most of the stations on there had contacted one another, so everybody on there was hungry for the new kid on the block. Now, how did you end up on that uh, that whole station <laughs> over there on 15 and uh, 80? Well, it was. Uh, how did I end up, or how, how did, did how everybody end up? Oh, well, I, Gary Pierce suggested it. In his infinite wisdom, he said, you know, nobody's been on 15CW. Someone should get on there. How did the, how, what, how the contact total from those stations go? Uh, I'm not sure what 15 meter CW was. It was around 53, around 53 contacts, and that's in about an hour. Not bad. Alpha Bravo 5 Delta Kilo, this is Whiskey 4 Delta Whiskey. Uh, W4DW, Whiskey 4 Delta Whiskey. Okay, I got a Charlie Echo Tango, very nice signal.
Whiskey, W4DW, one more contact. Roger, Roger, Jim. One more minute and you got the contest over. Whiskey He's for Delta Whiskey. Uh, Whiskey for Delta Whiskey. Give me your information. The contest is over. Uh, yeah. DE5, Romeo Victor. Uh, Whiskey for Delta Whiskey. Whiskey for Delta Whiskey. Whiskey for Delta Whiskey. Whiskey for Delta Whiskey. We need a contact. Come on, one more contact to make our 500. CQ contest, CQ contest, CQ contest. Whiskey for Delta Whiskey. W4DW. One more, please. Whiskey for Delta Whiskey. QRZ. Whiskey for Delta Whiskey. QRZ. John, how is it working with these raw recruits? Oh, it was great. It was great. They did okay, huh? Yeah, these guys went quick. The chairman always gets the last word, and we're about at the end of this tape. So, what's the last word? A roaring success, and uh, that's all, folks. If a hurricane, earthquake, or any natural disaster should come our way, the Raleigh Amateur Radio Society is ready to rough it. As Fox 22 photojournalist Jeff Green shows us, today's Umstead Park exercise is proof that practice makes perfect. Whiskey Charlie Sun. We operate as if everything had been shut down in the immediate area. All of the main power lines, telephone communications, food, everything was gone. We set up so that we can operate totally self-contained for an entire weekend. Whiskey Charlie Southern Mike from W4 Delta Whiskey. If there is a tornado or a disaster in some island where Mobile communications, cellular phones can't reach to it. Amateur radio is called upon. CQ field aid, CQ field People aid. who are in the amateur radio hobby come from all professions and all walks of life, from housewives to young children. We have people who are blind. We have people who are crippled. Amateur radio has no limits. Uh, anybody who desires to participate can participate. And the uh, regulations and the theory are much simplified from what it was 30 years ago. Uh, I recommend it to anybody. Glad to have those folks around. You're watching the News Channel, WTBD News Channel 11. Thanks, Dwayne. Finally tonight, the Raleigh Amateur Radio Society joined thousands of other hams across the country at Umstead Park today. They're celebrating the 60th anniversary of Field Day, a combination campout contest and practice emergency exercise. The ham's hardware included antique radios dating back to the 30s to state-of-the-art models. Since starting at 2 p.m., the Field Day stations will operate for a continuous 24 hours, making contact with hundreds of amateurs from across North America.
Canada Neat. That's our news for now. Thanks for joining us.